Jensen, really good to meet you. Hey, and welcome to Supercars of London. This is my YouTube channel. What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and a video that I have been waiting to do for quite some time. Over the past month, I've been waiting for this particular moment and video. Not only is it the night before I go to New York, but it is the Esso Synergy launch party. Now, that may not seem so interesting or exciting, but what is about to happen in this video certainly will be. I'm en route now to central London to meet up with Sam. We're gonna get him in the passenger seat for the first time since he did the reaction video. And then we're gonna go for a quick splurt around Knightsbridge, if that's the right way of saying splurt around Knightsbridge to try and find some supercars before we head to the Globe Theatre and get involved with the SO Synergy launch party. London traffic, got a dustbin cart behind. I think I spotted him. I think I spotted him somewhere around there. There he is, he's running. <laughs> right, now let's lock him in. <laughs> I literally saw that garbage truck and I was like, ah, it's gonna be him. He's struggling there. Yeah, a bit. <laughs> oh yeah, I've, I've been really kind to park. <laughs> <laughs> so we are just quickly parking up to discuss the plan of action for today and I'm really excited about taking this car down to the event um, and I think Sam's also really excited about going for a nice relaxed drive as opposed to the last time that I took him out for a spin in the car. <laughs> no sport or course in <laughs> So Sam's getting his camera ready, we're going to be just doing some intros and stuff for Sam's channel and then we're going to get cracking and get onto this event. We have got 10 minutes in London to try and find some supercars before we have to get to this event. And I think I only know some are because I was just on the bus to get here, so. Oh, so you've got the inside knowledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I okay. feel like we okay, can okay, find cool. some good Well, ones. let's try and find some supercars quick before we get to this S event. There we go, that's a better view. Did you get it? Yes, get nailed it. Shot? I nailed Let's it. Let's go. Let's go. So, the Globe Theatre doesn't have parking outside. <laughs> we have found it. So we tried. Yeah. We're like, where doesn't Shakespeare we're, park? We have, <laughs> we have ditched the Lamborghini and we are now headed down this pedestrianised bit, which I was hoping that I could just sort of nudge people through <laughs> with the car. <laughs> but what a view. And this woman's taken full advantage of that. I don't think we've seen it shots in my vlog. <laughs> Go on then. So we're making our way to the event and we've got the awesome South Bank River Thames view here which looks awesome and there is a red carpet and a McLaren 650S. So we're saying goodbye to the SO McLaren and in to the event. So I have turned into a blue man and now a smurf as we enter the event. I mean, how cool is this? Whoa! 
Oh, it's a tree. Is it real? I think it's real. It's a real tree. Yeah, yeah, it's real. It's a tree. So the event has started. Hi, you know, good evening, everybody. Um, I'd like to start by welcoming you all to um, the Synergy Fuels program launch. What would be your most memorable journeys, though, off of the Formula One circuit? Okay, well, uh, first of all, good evening, everyone. It's, uh, it's very bright here, isn't it? Yeah. Or is it just us three? Um, the, uh, my most memorable journey, I mean, there are so many that I've had. I mean, I love, I love cars, I love traveling. Um, probably the, one of the biggest journeys of my life was driving to the circuit in Barcelona um, back in 1999, where I was announced as a Formula One driver. We are now setting up the McLaren to interview Jensen Button. But I've got a special challenge um, that I feel like he is going to be pretty nifty at with his car knowledge. But I'm going to put him to the test and work out whether he would be a good car spotter or not. And I'm going to give him the advantage by showing him cars that have been spotted and photographed in Monaco. So the next clip you're going to see is me and Jensen in the McLaren 650S, which is going to be an, a surreal experience and an amazing one. And I'm going to put him to the test and seeing how good he is at identifying supercars. <laughs> Yeah, I apologise for the light. Jensen, really good to meet you, hey and welcome to Supercars of London. This is my YouTube channel. For the last seven years, I've been filming supercars in London, and for me, like to try and find the right car, it's all about trying to see the car in traffic and identify it for yeah. little bits. So what I want to do is challenge you okay. on your car knowledge on supercars, yeah. but zoom in. So we'll start with number one. Oh, well, it's an Alpha, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know which one. The new that, little one. The new little one. Yeah. That's good enough. Four <laughs> C. So that is actually um, Sam's car. Here I actually love in. the eight C. You do? Love the eight C. They yeah. sound amazing. Uh, La Ferrari. La Ferrari, good one. Oh, by the way, I'm giving you an advantage by doing all of these cars that have been seen in Monaco. Okay. Yeah. Have they? A lot of cars are seen in Monaco. <laughs> Quite a lot of flash cars in Monaco. That's my car. That's two one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Beautiful spec. I actually had um, an R8 in Nardo Grey. Oh, really? is it, well, this is chicane. Is it chicane grey? Gra Grouch farts. It's called. It is. A and beautiful. I had to pay 28 grand for that paint. <laughs> yeah, for a grey colour. <laughs> well, absolutely beautiful. Bugatti Veyron. Nailed it. Yeah, uh, that's the new 570. Which you drove, and I actually filmed you driving up a Goodwood oh, Hill climb. Nice. Sounded amazing. Uh, that's the new NSX. Which is an awesome yeah, car. Is it nine-speed gear. gearbox? I don't know. Okay. You know more than me. <laughs> I just think it looks pretty. Here uh, we go. That is, oh, I can't remember the, the, the name, but it's 2006. Absolutely nailed yeah, it. Nailed it. And then the first last year that I won. First year. I won a Grand Prix, yeah. And this is um, the last one I got told to say. Okay. I got told to put in. See if you give it. An FSO or a Lada. It is a Lada. It's a Lada. A Lada. A, I'm not entirely sure. That's a Lada. Yeah, my, my dad actually used to sell FSOs. Oh, um, really? So I know FSOs pretty well from, oh, from Poland, okay. but Lada's <laughs> beautiful. Yeah, well, you nailed it. Absolutely fantastic. Awesome. And that is end of it. One question and yes. a bit of advice. What is the best driving road in Monaco? Because I'm taking my car down at the end of October. The Was best it? driving road? Or in and around Monaco. Okay, up to La Turbie is pretty cool. La Turbie? Yeah, from, from Monaco up to La Turbie. I cycle it a lot, so be careful. There's yeah, a lot of cyclists around <laughs> I there. will be careful. Um, there's, um, there's also a road called Colda Torini, um, which is pretty cool, but it's, ma it's really tight switchbacks all the way okay. up, so probably not the best in the supercar. But or seriously, with a Lambo four wheel drive. Exactly, <laughs> but seriously, just drive away from the sea, and it's just amazing wherever you go. There are so many beautiful roads up around Monaco. Yeah. Col, de, Col de Madon is an amazing one as well. These are all awesome. cycle routes I do, but <laughs> they are just perfect for a supercar. So amazing. enjoy your Guiado up there. Thank you very much, fantastic cool. meeting you. Cheers, man. Cheers. Cheers. I'm trying to find the right lighting, but anyway, what an insane experience to meet Jensen Button. It was absolutely fantastic. If you've seen my Instagram and Twitter as well, 
you see that I stood here um, and had a photo of Jensen Button, but also chatted again about some of the fantastic cars that he owns and also some of the driving roads in Monaco and in the south of France that he absolutely loves driving. It's been utterly incredible. I'd just like to thank SO for the opportunity to be down here and myself and Sam, who is over there being very antisocial, are going to be creating some awesome content coming soon. You may have already seen his video from today. If you haven't, make sure you go and check it out, Seen Through Glass, and it is going to be an awesome, awesome adventure with SO. We're going to be creating some fun videos and also doing some challenges, so I can't wait uh, to get it started. So, <laughs> I'm going to win. Sorry, guys. Sorry, I'm, I'm going to win. I'm going to win, basically. We're doing some challenges. I was just explaining yes, that we've got yes. some challenges going on. You and never have what challenges have you ever won? Um, the first two F1 2015 oh, yeah. challenges. <laughs> so that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching and thank you for tuning in to Supercars of London. I hope you have enjoyed the SO Synergy launch event. It has been an amazing experience. I can't believe the fact that I've met Jensen Button and also interviewed him and challenged him to supercar spotting. Thanks for watching and I will see you tomorrow when the next vlog I'm going to be in New York. So, um, Time to get some sleep, and I'll see you later. See the ball talk. Oh, oh, oh. It doesn't stop. <laughs> all the talk is like from the six onwards, <laughs> like it should be. You know, when you drive a turbo car, you rev it.